All of Virgos, welcome to your love reading for October 2023. If it resonates, consider a personal pre-recorded or live reading. Just click on the link tree below or text me at 646-902-5715. Let's get to your reading. Holy Spirit, Angels, Divine Guides, Universe. Can you please write your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Virgos for love for October 2023? What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground? Become closer to the universe and closer to divine. Any message? would be greatly appreciated we thank you energies prior to october we have the queen of potions in the reverse make sure you click on the video link below for what your love interest is thinking or feeling and that's right i'll have something you do not know about them and if they are seeing or interested in somebody else energies for october we have the knight of pumpkins in the reverse uh in my playlist your 2024 sun moon readings will resume put your comments i mean your requests in the comments i'll put you in queue 2023s are still in there see if they rang true for you or as somebody you know two of lightning and is is in the upright as you move forward um out of october into november and then finally look me up on facebook instagram tiktok like share subscribe donate or for a friend in support of my efforts always greatly appreciated um i am noticing like a common theme in these readings in general for this month seem to be about decisions and negative people so i don't know if some of you have gotten into some you know relationships that are kind of like negative i was just checking my calendar to see if it was like any kind of weirdo retrograde going on um but you know i'm just seeing that at the end here but and i'm seeing some negativity in the beginning so let's get started queen of potions are reversed energies prior to uh october um this is the stability card for me the the um the court cards are always people and i'm an empath so i feel like like people um so the with this card i feel as though you're just dealing with somebody who um you know is a really negative person emotionally i mean they can be vindictive they could be jealous they could be needy they could be clinging on to you i guess that's the same as needy um they're really emotionally draining just like sucking you dry or they were sucking you dry they have no capability whatsoever of kind of like um keeping their emotions in check and, and this is somebody that the queen of um Cops for me in reverse is somebody who you you shouldn't really placate. Don't give in to them because if you take an if you give them an inch, they will take an absolute mile. It literally is rewarding their bad behavior. So um, if you gave them a reaction, probably wasn't the good thing to do because that is where they thrive when they get a reaction from the other person from how they're behaving. So it really is a childish energy to me. In October, with the Knight of Pumpkins in reverse, um, this is where I feel that this person is a high-risk individual. I mean, I feel as though they just are all over the place. They can't be trusted with money. They can't be trusted to act right. They can't be trusted to be stable, I mean, or practical. There's nothing about them that you can actually delegate to them and it would get done or trust to them and know that you can trust in them. So they, they really are a kind of a whack job to me, in my opinion. Um, the two of lightning here in the upright shows October and November, you're just kind of waiting it out. You're not really sure what to do here. I mean, other people will probably know what to do, but I feel for some reason, maybe you have a history with this person, maybe you have some sympathy, maybe you're trying to see if there's a compromise. You're just really uncertain about what to do. So I see you kind of just staying where you are and saying, okay, I really don't have enough information to understand what's going on or what's going on with this person. I'd feel more secure making the decision if I had that information and I knew for a fact, you know, where this is all coming from. So, um, you're really indecisive. I don't feel like you're going to do anything about this person, at least until after November, but let's see what the cards have to say. Why is the queen of potions here in reverse? Who's this person? What's this energy? Additional messages for the queen of potions in reverse. I also got for some of you, this person could be an interference. It could be someone that you're, it could have been somebody that you're not necessarily in a relationship with, but that person is attached to the other person. Could be an ex, could be a, you know, nosy mother or, or pushy mother or anything in that regard. Um, so we have the Nine of Pentacles in the upright. What else do we have? The Queen of Potions in reverse. We have the Ace of Pentacles in the upright. 
And we have the five of cups in reverse. So I feel your approach to this person was very practical. I feel as though you have to be careful of this person because I feel as though you're the person who was the 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 rock the person who had everything i feel like you take care of yourself you were self-sufficient you're making your own money and i feel as though this person is just you know kind of leeching off and off of you or they're taking advantage of you um in some way um the, the ace of pentacles in the upper eight i feel as though you were saying to yourself well let me <laughs> let me kind of you know see if I give this person a ball and they kind of run with it. So I almost feel like you're entrusting them and saying, you know, here's an opportunity or you were entrusting them saying, here's an opportunity for you to work on yourself or for us to work on what's going on. Here's our opportunity to think of what goals we want to make happen and kind of work on those. And I feel as though you were, you know, kind of saying to them, we could have a new start. We could be something um, if, you know, your focus was a little bit more on that stuff. Um, I also feel as though you're trying to fix them. I'm not going to lie. I feel as though any problem that you uh, encounter in people automatically, your gut is just like, okay, I need to fix this problem. And then you set about practically trying to do that. And you can't always do that with people because there's always so much control you can have over a person. Um, but with the five of the cups in reverse, I feel as though you're kind of hopeful uh, that you, you you two will be able to move on from this, that this uh, wackiness that's kind of going on, um, you know, the, the two of you will transition out of it um, and that, you know, everything will, you guys will get back to what you once were. So I don't know if this person's going through a phase uh, or they're just naturally like this and, and you're seeing the ugly side. Why is the Knight of Pumpkins in reverse? No, the king of pumpkins are reversed, so it gets wackier. Yeah, th this person, um, I feel as though uh, they say they're going to do stuff. They say they're going to change. Um, I feel as though the way that they presented themselves to you was actually fraudulent. I feel as though they wanted you to see something, so they made it seem like that's what it was or they were going to do certain things. And, and then in October, you're seeing there's nothing becoming of that. I also feel like they're they're hiding a uh, secret Thing kind of going on. Um, one of them might be having trouble with their finances. So they're not very good with their money. They might be um, in debt. They might be kind of gambling all their money away, um, overspending, being extravagant, things of that nature. Um, I'm also seeing that they're tempted very easily. Um, I, I don't think it's uh, by, um, by people. I think it's actually tempted. Um, uh, to put their money into things. So uh, like investments or, you know, the, God, what are those? I can't believe I, I don't know what those machines are called that you pull down the arm on them. You put the money in. Why do I not know what that is? Anyways, put it, you put it in the comments. What is that? You put the arm down and the things like, that is so weird. And it's like jackpot. But I, I feel like they're very tempted by shiny objects or things like that. And they're easily kind of drawn in. They don't have the discipline to say no. Um, they don't have the discipline to have the clarity and say, hey, this is not a good idea. Um, they tend to idealize the situation. Like for instance, if they're gambling, they're saying, oh, what if I won? I could get this, I could get that. So um, they're not very good managers of themselves, I feel, when it comes to practical stuff. Boom, another three of pentacles, uh, I'm sorry, queen of pentacles in reverse. So again, this is a person who makes the almighty dollar what they're all about. They put the price tag of everything ahead of everything else at the cost of um, personal relationships, at the cost of family. They will literally leave uh, somebody at home to go pursue, um, you know, go chase a dollar down the street or something like that. So um, I feel like they have a problem in that regard. Um, why is the two of lightning here in the upper right? Who's this person? What's this energy? I still feel like you're either feeling like you can fix this or giving them another chance. Why is the two of lightning here? Let's see how right I am. Okay, we have the, oh, you think it's our friends? <laughs> you think it's our friends? Okay. Um, or it's them kind of. <laughs> either, it could be both too. I feel as though... We have the Three of Cups in reverse, the Six of Cups in reverse, and the Page of Cups in the upright. And I feel as though either you are pointing out to them, you know, the company, you will be pointing out to them, the company you keep is not good. These people are influencing you in very, very poor ways and changing you. And I don't think it's a good idea. So you could very well be pointing that out to them. I feel like these are people that they've been connected to 
um, you know, for quite a lifetime, like in their childhood or something like that. But these people are, I mean, they're, they're just not good people. They have no uh, disciplinary boundaries whatsoever. They just kind of do what they want. And I feel like they drag this person along with them. Now, that being said, it can also be in addition to what I just said, or just in itself, um, I feel this person is saying, oh, it's not me. It's my friends. When I hang out with these people, you know, they're using it as a scapegoat. They're using it as an excuse to kind of put it on other people. And instead of taking accountability for their actions and what they're doing and how they're kind of getting into where they are, whatever the case is, either one of those scenarios kind of has you saying, okay, I'll kind of wait it out and see what they, what goes on, how this is going to flesh out, what, you know, what's going to, what's going to happen so I can make a proper decision. And I do see them, see them apologizing with the page of cups in the upright. I think they're kind of batting their eyes, trying to come across as innocent and saying, I'm sorry, I'll do better as I go forward. You know, let's, let's start over again, or let's, um, you know, enjoy what we have or whatever, whatever they're trying to do. But I, I do feel as though oh, they're trying to snow you or snow themselves or both. Um, but I, I just kind of feel like this person's going to drag you down if this is the trajectory and it continues like this. And of course, if it resonates for you. So if it does resonate, consider a personal pre-recorded or live reading. Um, just click on the link tree below to contact me or text me at 646-902-5715. Otherwise, make sure you click on the Vimeo link below for what your love interest is thinking or feeling. And that spread will have something you do not know about them in addition to if they're seeing or interested in somebody else. In my playlist, your 2024 Sun Moon Readings, 2024 threes are also in there see if they rang true for you and I will be getting back to those I promise I had to take a month off for a lot of reasons um and then finally look me up on Facebook Instagram TikTok like share subscribe donate refer a friend and support my efforts always greatly appreciated otherwise Virgos I will see you in the Vimeo adios from Veronica Garnett bye